Good morning to our honourable judges, headmistress, senior assistants, teachers, and all my fellow friends. Today, I would like to tell you a story entitled, My Mother Had Only One Eye. There was once a boy who used to live with his mother. They were very poor, and they managed to earn just enough to survive. The boy's mother had only one eye. Because of that, the child used to think of her as an embarrassment. One day, during elementary school, the mother came to say hello to him. He was so embarrassed. How could she do this to me? The boy ignored her, threw her a hateful look, and ran out. The next day at school, one of his classmates said, Eee, your mother had only one eye. The boy felt so irritated that he started to hate his mother and thought that his mother's presence was just an embarrassment to him. He also wanted his mother to just disappear. He confronted her that day and said, If you're going to make me a laughing stock, why don't you just die? The mother did not respond. The boy didn't even stop to think for a second about what he had said. He was so full of anger that he was oblivious to her feelings. He decided not to live with her. So he determined that he would study hard and leave his mother. Fortunately, the child completed his studies with good grades and landed a good job in another city. As he had planned, he left his mother and got settled in town. He bought a big house, got married, and had kids. He was living a happy life. There, he had nothing to remind him of his mother and the embarrassment she caused him. One day, his mother came to see him. When the children saw her, they felt scared and ran to him. He went to see who was at the yard door. When he saw his mother standing there, he screamed at her. How dare you come to my house and scare my children? Get out of here, now! The mother understood that her son did not want to see her. So, she quietly answered, Oh, I'm so sorry. I may have gotten the wrong address. Then, she left. One day, a letter regarding a school reunion arrived at his house. He decided that he would attend it. But, he lied to his wife that he was going on a business trip. When the reunion was over, he went to see the old shack that he used to live with his mother. He saw the curiosity. The neighbors told him that his mother had died. He did not shed a single tear. The neighbors handed him a letter that she had wanted him to have. It read, My dearest son, I think of you all the time. I'm so sorry that I came to your house and scared your children. I was so glad when I heard that you were coming for the reunion. But I may not be able to even get out of bed to see you. I am so sorry that I was a constant embarrassment to you. You see, when you were very little, you got into an accident and lost your eye. As a mother, I could not stand watching you having to grow with only one eye. So I gave you mine. I was so proud of my son that was seeing a whole new world for me. In my place, with that eye, I was never upset at you for anything you did. I miss you so much, my son. I love you. You mean the world to me. With all my love to you, your mother. My dear friends, we can never understand how much our mother sacrifice for us. We should appreciate and be grateful for the love they gave us. To all the mothers here,